Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have Colgate, and we have this beer that Colgate brought over. One of his friends brought it back for him again from Calgary. Marita. Thank you. <laughs> See, that was that was double. Uh, anyway, this is Wild Rose Raspberry Ale. Uh, what do we have here? It is a raspberry ale. It is 4.5% alcohol at Wild Rose Brewery. We are passionate about creating great tasting beers and are get dedicated to using only the finest ingredients. Again, what their ingredients are, we can only guess. Over here, Wild Rose Raspberry Ale. This, the tart, fresh taste of thousands of natural, ju juicy, red, whole raspberries provides the perfect finish to our light, crisp, easy drinking ale. Ale with raspberries. I think they're really trying to let you know there's raspberries in it. Yeah, I think there the might description of raspberries sounds uh, pretty uh, blown out of proportion, but we'll see. Make no mistake. I'd be making a mistake. Raspberry ale, yeah. No, is that cranberry? <laughs> yeah, cranberry for your bladder infection. <laughs> you sure this isn't a raspberry? <laughs> no, if this thing was poured for me, I would not believe it is a raspberry ale. I normally like raspberry beers too. I'm not so too I? big on fruity ones. But, but yeah. when you have a quote like, the tart fresh taste of thousands of natural juicy red whole raspberries, a lot of and then this is the color you get. That's funny. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, yeah, I don't know if I want to try this. Like look at that color, and then got thousands some, got of some whole It's got a hint of red to it though from the see through the light, eh? Yeah, a little tint. A little tint. You'd think you'd see it in the head though. Usually yeah. the head's what gives it away. It would usually have a pink tint to it. The head's just crystal white. It does smell like raspberries though. It does mm -hmm. smell a lot like the uh, the KLB raspberry ale. Yeah. I didn't get to try that one. Yeah, it doesn't smell like fake raspberry and it doesn't smell super super sweet like a raspberry jam. It actually does smell the part. It actually mm -hmm. smells like authentic raspberry. That's the Kawartha Lakes one you're talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, My mistake, I have had that. I do like that one actually a fair bit. Alright, let's try it. Cheers. Cheerio. Tastes like raspberries are in it. Yeah, it's not bad. The carbonation's really nice on it. It's, it's really pretty smooth. Raspberry. Soft, smooth, mm -hmm. raspberry oh. taste, uh, lots of tannins. It almost feels like you're you're drinking just the little tiny seeds. Lots and lots of the yes. little thousands and yeah. thousands of the seeds. That's how it smelled though. It smelled more of like the seeds as opposed to anything else. Really. I think it's all that microcarbonation making my mind think about the seeds oh. with the taste there is on there. But again, the only thing I can make fun of is the color. I mean, it tastes the part. It smells the part. Is Normally there is great, more of a pinkish hue, yeah. Is it a great raspberry ale? I See, I think the problem with raspberry beers is there's just so many of them now. I don't think it's a great raspberry ale. Like it. Is it a good raspberry ale? Yeah, it's, it's good. See, if you're having like Founders or Rubius or Rubius or whatever, it's like I compare everything to that now because that's like my favorite negative one. And this pales. Well, you have that, you have the Mel Melville's, Melville's Raspberry, Melville's. the yeah. KLB Raspberry oh, Wheat, you really have, good, yeah. there's just so many raspberry beers, I mean, I could keep going, but You know the why? difference, though, between them? They actually are red. Yes, yes. Because <laughs> they have, like, real raspberries. Or, I mean, this smells like it, but yeah, it doesn't look like it. Definitely seedy. Yeah. Yeah. I like it, though, I mean, I, I do too. drink it. Yeah, Four or right. five, I'd pound these. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that <laughs> and they're not as heavy as like the KLB. They're mm -hmm. not as rich as the Melvilles. They're not as rich as the uh, Rubeus, as you were just talking about. They're they're not as they're not as sweet subtle, and overpowering. Almost, it's just, right? yeah, very subtle. Yeah. It comes down to your personal preference. Are you one of those guys that like, or or women that likes uh, fruit beers that are more of a dessert beer, or more of an easy drinking beer? This is definitely on that side, and you could pound them like Deb said. Mm -hmm. Well, I, like we like talked about last night in the panel, well, not last night, the night before in the panel chat, I, I think this would be a session raspberry beer. Yeah. Where a lot of the other raspberry beers, even though they're in the ABV range to be session beers, I don't think they would be for different reasons. One being a wheat beer that's just too too heavy to drink a lot of. Yeah, one being, way, yeah, one being way too sweet, one being just way too much flavor. 
on the palette. Uh, this, I, I would give it a 6.5. I wouldn't pay for it, but I'd have no problem if somebody brought over a six pack and pounding it with them. Yeah, I'm actually in the same boat. Like, uh, the carbonation I love on this one, and the tartness isn't too much for me. Like, everything's just really subtle. Um, and yeah, I'd love to crush these in the summer. Like, crush them in the summer. So, 6.5. You mean like get accidentally drunk on? I could get accidentally drunk on this. <laughs> yeah, when you're sitting in your chair on, on the lawn and then yep. you go to stand up and you fall over. You, you forgot how many mm -hmm. you had. And then it's you pee your pants. Videos. I know those. I know that <laughs> feeling. That was about to be right now. I do have to go, guys. We've got to cut the short 6'5". <laughs> Thank you, guys. <laughs> Bye.